Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, talking about all the types of applications of uh, uh, transition metal organometallics in catalysis so far and today uh, we are going to uh, move on to a very interesting topics about the transition metal organometallics in biology and hence uh, uh, we would be covering the field of uh, bio organometallic chemistry. Now, uh, bio organometallic chemistry uh, uh, can be uh, seen in conjunction with bio inorganic chemistry. This is bio inorganic and bio organometallic. Uh, we are going to be primarily uh, focusing on bio organometallic part uh, and there is a subtle distinction between bio inorganic and bio organometallic chemistry and uh, let me elucidate that before we focus on bio organometallic aspect uh, uh, of uh, uh, the chemistry discussion. So, bio inorganic chemistry chemistry is an inter this uh, C plenary field overseeing applications of metal uh, compounds in biological and biochemical worlds. So, uh, this uh, uh, consists of compounds which are inorganic, organometallic and uh, so on and so forth. So, bio uh, inorganic chemistry is a much broader field of applications of transition metal uh, complexes uh, which can be inorganic as well as organometallic uh, in applications uh, complexes and their applications in biological and biochemical worlds. Whereas, the one that we will be talking about and which is not often much uh, spoken about is bio organometallic chemistry. Uh, bio organometallic chemistry is a newly evolving field that explores the utility of, of challenging organometallic compounds that are, are extremely sensitive to water. So, uh, uh, one aspect is that biogonometric chemistry uh, 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 is explores the uh, challenging organometallic compounds, they are challenging because uh, they are extremely sensitive to water in biological walls biological and biochemical walls of aqueous of exclusive aqueous environments. So, these uh, sort of uh, summarize uh, 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 the challenges uh, uh, that uh, one uh, encounters uh, in bio organometallic chemistry. So, the field is a newly evolving field. Uh, 
that looks into utility of organometallic compound uh, in uh, biological and aqueous uh, biochemical worlds of aqueous environments. And the challenge over here arises from the fact that organometallic compounds are unstable uh, in water. So, uh, this is a very exciting uh, uh, aspect of bioorganometallic chemistry uh, and that uh, we are going to be focusing more on bioorganometallic chemistry in this lecture. Uh, the applications of bio uh, compounds uh, in biological organometallic compounds in biological uh, uh, world. Uh, so, uh, uh, none, uh, this is uh, the focus of today's uh, talk and uh, nonetheless uh, this field is evolving and uh, growing uh, uh, into uh, maturity and uh, the uh, biological uh, uh, the bio organometallic chemistry has evolved in several directions uh, and mainly I will summarize uh, the different directions of bio organometallic chemistry. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, this uh, ha has been used uh, for uh, therapeutic purpose Uh, so, this involves organometallic compounds which are used uh, for uh, therapy. Uh, uh, so, that is one direction in which organometallics is currently uh, evolving. Then the other in is in bioanalysis and sensors. Also, uh, there is a, a considerable amount of, uh, or not considerable, uh, uh, but uh, um, notable amount of organometallic uh, compounds in enzymes, proteins and peptides. And peptides, uh, this is uh, uh, what uh, uh, arises uh, from the presence of organometallic compounds in biochemical world. Also uh, bioorganometallic chemistry in molecular recognition in aqueous medium. This is an expanding uh, important area of work. And uh, uh, last but uh, uh, not uh, uh, the least, uh, these uh, are also uh, used for uh, toxicological uh, toxicology environment. So, uh, what one uh, can summarize from here is that given the fact that bioorganomal chemistry is quite uh, uh, new, uh, nonetheless uh, the field has spread uh, in several uh, directions and uh, we are going to be reviewing some of these uh, uh, great uh, 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 applications of organometallic chemistry, uh, uh, bioorganometallic uh, compounds in all of these or some of these areas. Uh, so, uh, the transition metals to begin with transition metals has a wide utility uh, in uh, uh, several purposes medicinal values and uh, maybe uh, here is I am going to present a summary of various metal and their applications. For example, Silver uh, is used for uh, arsenic, sorry. For syphilis, ulcers, parasite diseases, mercury. Mercury uh, uh, for uh, uh, 
antiseptics uh, antimony antimony a for uh, this is called uh, lace man yeah uh, cis then copper uh, copper for menke disease uh, uh, cobalt as well as uh, 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 photodynamic therapy a, a photodynamic therapy iron hypertension hypotension platinum cancer hiv then a bunch of uh, metals uh, technetium uh, yttrium gadolinium gallium uh, barium chromium diagnostic and imaging and strontium strontium radium uh, polonium samarium radio pharmaceuticals the list uh, sort of uh, expand beyond uh, to other metals uh, we will uh, uh, see uh, for example gold uh, in uh, rheumatoid arthritis cancer uh, then magnesium uh, magnesium in uh, hypothyroid ism uh, uh, then manganese photodynamic therapy Uh, vanadium uh, insulin mimics then silver antibacterial studies uh, 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 diagnostics and imaging zinc menke disease palladium cancer photodynamic therapy HIV and lithium depression mental health so what we see uh, is that uh, there is a, a, a great uh, 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 utility of various uh, transition metal compounds, some of their inorganic, some of their organometallic in uh, uh, the pharmaceutical world and they uh, uh, sort of uh, have beneficial effect in treatment of wide range of diseases. Now focusing on bioorganometallic chemistry, we are going to look into organometallic uh, compo uh, compounds of these metals uh, 
uh, which are either existing in, in biological world or they have uh, 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 utility as pharmaceuticals in uh, uh, medicinal uh, chemistry. So, these are the two main fo focus uh, that we are going to uh, 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 look upon uh, 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 during this course of this lecture. And uh, to start with uh, we will uh, talk about uh, organometric molecule uh, which is present uh, uh, in uh, 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 biological world and this is this uh, vitamin B12. So, vitamin B12 uh, is a organic molecule uh, which is a part of vitamin uh, particularly one specific vitamin called uh, uh, methyl -cobal uh, cobalamin where there is a metal carbon bond present uh, within a uh, uh, cobalt uh, uh, within a prosthetic bear group containing cobalt. Uh, and uh, this is a molecule uh, which is uh, uh, occurring naturally uh, and hence uh, it is kind of wonderful to see a organometallic compound uh, being present uh, in a biological world where uh, the predominant exclusive environment medium is a aqueous medium. So, uh, in terms of bioorganometallic chemistry the first uh, name which comes to mind is vitamin B12 or methyl cobalamin. Uh, uh, so, vitamin B12 is an important water soluble vitamin involved in a red blood cell production, brain health and DNA synthesis. Deficiency of uh, vitamin B12 can cause serious symptoms including fatigue, nerve damage, digestive issue, and neurological problem. like depression and memory loss. So, this is very important biotopins are molecules you know which cannot body cannot create and there has to they require in minor term, uh, quantities and they have to be uh, supplied uh, uh, by some uh, from the food chain. So, uh, uh, coenzyme B12 Another uh, form of vitamin B uh, is called coenzyme uh, B12, uh, which is a cofactor form of vitamin B12. Uh, uh, so, uh, another uh, instead of uh, there is another uh, uh, known uh, form which is called uh, cyanocobalamin uh, is a synthetic form of uh, vitamin uh, B12 uh, which is uh, uh, formed during uh, uh, the isolation uh, cyanide group is bound uh, to cobalt instead of a methyl uh, and that uh, is not found in nature. So, what nature uh, contains is uh, this uh, uh, methyl cobalamin uh, which uh, contains uh, 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 this uh, uh, 
uh, uh, methyl uh, co uh, cobalt bond. So, let me just uh, draw the uh, structure of uh, methyl uh, cobalamin. CUNH2 and uh, is a uh, this is hydrogen. CO and H2 in H methyl Methyl, methyl, and methyl cobalt and methyl. So there is a organometallic uh, group. And this cobalt is coordinated uh, 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 to uh, 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 this uh, ad adenosine moiety as is shown over here, and this is called uh, um, a methyl cobalamin. The structure was solved by Dorothy. Hodgkin yeah, 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 in which uh, uh, the cyanide methyl was replaced uh, by a, a cyanide uh, group. Then there is another uh, uh, bio uh, um, uh, organometallic molecule which is known uh, which is uh, 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 to be shown over here. Uh, this is uh, coenzyme B12 and the structure of it is methyl C 
CO NH2. CUNH2 methyl nitrogen hydrogen is a double bond CUNH2 CO NH methyl oxygen O eight O eight nitrogen methyl methyl here also is a methyl which is uh, missing and methyl then nitrogen and CO NH2 methyl methyl nitrogen this CO NH2 methyl CO NH2 and that also has a metal carbonyl bond with cobalt being bound uh, to uh, adenosine moiety weight weight in this huh. so here we have uh, two uh, uh, molecules, two organometallic compounds. One is uh, methyl cobalamin, the other is coenzyme B, both containing a metal uh, uh, carbon bond over here as well as over here that are present uh, in uh, a biological uh, uh, world and is very crucial. So, with this uh, uh, we come to end of today's uh, discussion where we are exploring the various facets of organometallic chemistry. And uh, um, we have looked into the utility of the field of uh, organometallic uh, bioorganometallic compounds in terms of uh, uh, medicinal purpose as well as of their presence in uh, uh, biological uh, uh, world. And to start with, we have looked into the structure of two molecules. One is methyl cobalamin as well as coenzyme B2, B12. These are derived from vitamin B12, which are organometallic compounds uh, found in nature. And this is was supposed to be the first organometallic compound. Uh, to have uh, 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 been discovered in natural system in aqueous environment. Uh, so, with this uh, uh, more on uh, this discussion about uh, the organometallic compounds uh, uh, in uh, uh, biology as we continue in the next lecture till then uh, goodbye and thank you.